Let's add some functionality to the grid class. The first thing I'm going to do here in the constructor or the init method, I'm going to create the grid itself, which will be a two dimensional list. So a list of lists. And I am going to do that using list comprehension. So self that grid equals and inside uh, this square bracket I'm going to create a second square bracket and inside that second square bracket I'm going to create a for loop so return zero for x in range Free. And for every for every y, so for y in range free. So this is the most easiest way to actually create a two-dimensional three by three uh, grid, uh, also called a matrix. So for every y create free access and set the values to zero so return zero now let me just print out this grid so print the self dot grid and let me run it and now as you can see it printed out, it created a list of lists and each of these inner lists has three values, three zeros. This will be the first row of the grid, this will be the second row of the grid and this will be the third row of the grid. To actually make it a little bit this um, looking better, I'm going to define here just for debugging a print underscore grid function and the print grid function just will loop through for every row in self.grid and it will print out the row so I'm going to delete this print statement and I'm also going to here in the game.py after I instantiated the grid object I'm just going to call this method so grid dot print grid and now let's run it and now it printed out row by row the next function I'm going to add now, now that we have a uh, three by three read. I'm going to create a getter and setter for the grid. So def let's call it get 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 cell get cell value. The get cell value needs a position of x and y x and y and it will return self dot grid at position y and x and don't forget that first you will need to add the y and then the x the second method will be the set cell underscore value and it also takes the x, y and the value and it will set on the grid at y and x 
I mean at index y and x equal to the value. And here is the same. First you add the y and then the x. So now that we have defined a getter and a setter for the cells, let me try this out. So here, after I created the grid, before I'm printing it, I'm just going to set, let's say, grid that set cell value and which cell, let's say the one and uh, one cell set it equal to x, mm, x. And then I'm going to print it. So let me try this out. And now, as you can see, here, the one one uh, cell in the grid has become one. So this method over, over has overwritten the default value, which was zero. Okay, so the next method I'm going to add to this grid class is the get underscore mouse method. And the get mouse also takes the x, the y, and it will take a player variable. And I'm going to ask here if player is equal to the letter x. Then I'm going to call the self that set cell value at position x and y to player or not to player but to x. And elif the player equals to the O. Then going to set the cell value at position X and Y to the letter O. So this is the get mouse. Now I'm going back to the game.py and here I'm going to create a player which will be which will be the string of x and here instead of printing out the values i'm going to call the grid that get mouse get mouse and adding it to the same expressions so position 0 divided by integer division by 200 and the position at index 1 uh, and integer division divided by 200. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And as a third argument, I'm going to give it the player. Okay, I'm going to delete this print statement from here and here. After I clicked, I'm going to ask also that uh, if player equals x, so the x uh, are already placed um, an x on the surface, then I'm going to switch the player to O. So player will be equal to the letter O. And else, when it's O, then switch back the player to X again. Okay, now... Now... Let me see, I'm going to delete this grid that set value here and uh, this pr grid that print grid I'm going to cut and place it here and 
now let me see now it uh, the grid will for now it will be only visible inside the console so i'm going to run it and i'm going to click on these and as you can see here in the first row and the first column it set the value to x and now let me print here in the second row and the second column and it changed the zero to an O. Now again click here let's say it changed this value to X and let's try it once again to this um, uh, third row I mean third row and third column and as you can see it switched or changed the zero to an O. So the functionality works and I think in the next video I'm going to load actual uh, images and update the surface instead of just the console.